Hello there, welcome to my top five makeup products of all time. Of all time. As you can see, I really struggled to narrow it down, so I sat here looking at this pile for quite a while. This video is actually my first collaboration. I've teamed up with Caitlin, who's a lovely Canadian YouTuber who suggested we film this together. Our channels and style and makeup taste are really similar, so I can't wait to see what she's chosen. I'll tell you a bit more about Caitlin later on, so let's dive into my final five. Who would have thought this would be so painful to choose? I felt like such a commitment phobe looking into my makeup drawer. Oh, and that's one of my kittens, Percy. He's just hanging out and helping me decide. With a little bit of counselling from Percy, I got there. Here's my top five, until I change my mind next week. Burberry Lip Cover in Ruby is not only my favourite red, but probably my favourite lipstick of all time. I have a lot of other reds that I love, but this one is just so deep and rich that I can't go past it. It looks perfect with fresh skin like the 2015 Spring Summer Burberry Runway Show. I use all of the same Burberry products to recreate that look all the time. I'll leave a link below where Burberry makeup artist Wendy Rowe talks you through it. Chanel Rouge Allure in Rouge Noir is the darling of dark lipsticks. Again, not something I'm short of, but this one gets grabbed the most. Chanel Rouge Noir was my favourite nail polish for years, so when they brought this out, I was hooked. I have fair English rose skin with dark features and dark hair, so a dark lip works well. This is the quickest way to make a makeup look more dramatic. Burberry Eye Colour Cream in Feather Pink is my go-to easy eyeshadow. Except, it's not called that. I'm so sorry, I've written Feather Pink, but its name is Pink Heather. I don't know how that happened. There's a lipstick called Feather Pink, I guess. Anyway, this is such a pretty warm pink with a tiny bit of shimmer. It's the sort of shade that looks slightly different on everyone. English actress Ella Purnell wore this recently and I actually messaged the makeup artist to ask what she had on because it looked so different. Interesting texture too. It's almost like a pressed powder to cream formula. One of the Chanel Stilo eyeshadows had to make the cut. This is probably my favourite tool of all time. I went with Laurier Rose. Another pink eyeshadow interestingly, but this one is much more metallic. I initially planned to choose five products that made up a whole minimal makeup look, but clearly the lipsticks and eyeshadows edged out the others. Finally, a cream blush. Wouldn't be my top five without one. Chanel Le Beige blush sticks are my number one formula. They came in three different shades originally, but number 20 is much loved. A soft tan brown with a faint shimmer that works as a blush, a subtle bronzer around the high points of the face, and an eyeshadow. That's my biggest beauty hack. Blush as eyeshadow, guys. Give it a go. This is your perfect summer tool in one tube. All I put on my face on holiday last year. Oh, I'm exhausted. I did it. I'll probably regret this tomorrow when I find something else in my drawer, but these are representative of my favourite brands, Burberry and Chanel. Kind of surprised there's no Glossier in here, but I think these are more long-term makeup sidekicks from before I started using Glossier. As I mentioned earlier, this video is a collaboration with Caitlin from Canada. Excellent alliteration right there. She also filmed her top five, and there's a link to it down below. We're both quite new to YouTube and found each other around the same time through our Glossier videos, but there are lots of other similarities with our content. I feel like my subscribers would really like her channel. She's also into minimal, fresh makeup. She's absolutely gorgeous, so that doesn't hurt. And she has a great chilled out Canadian voice that I could listen to all day. There's an excellent variety of content on her channel too. Fashion, her style is so similar to mine and we share a love of the Canadian store Aritzia. Some design, her apartment is ridiculously cool. Plus health, mindfulness and beauty, of course. A big thank you to Caitlin for suggesting that we shoot this video. It was really fun once I got past the stress of it. Please head over and check out my lovely new YouTube friend on the other side of the world. Please get involved and leave a comment below with your top five. I upload three videos a week, so I'll see you next time.